A Japanese college student passes out after eating pig liver, and when he wakes up he finds himself in a pig pen surrounded by pigs. While he is waking up, he seems to hear the thoughts of a nearby girl who seems to take pity on him, and drags him out of the pen. Unfortunately this leads him to make a horrifying discovery that somehow he has turned into a pig. This has affected his eyesight as well, since pigs can't see colors that well. Since this makes his vision bad, he wonders if the girl who dragged him out of the pen has blonde hair like his old crush. Once he passes out again he wakes up in a fancy bedroom, but his nightmare seems to continue and he still happens to be a pig. The girl from before speaks to him and tells him to rest, but she also seems to know that he wasn't always used to a pig because she tells him that she isn't able to change him back. After he analyzes himself and confirms he has become a pig, the girl introduces herself as just the Yesma. Yesma are a race of women with the rare ability to read minds, which is why she was able to learn he used to be a human. After he tells her he is from Tokyo in Japan, Jess tells him that he is now in the world of Mysteria, and that she has unfortunately never heard of Tokyo. Mysteria is a large kingdom ruled over by a great king, and Jess is a servant for the Kiltiran House, a family that rules the Kiltiri region. After Jess gives him some food, the pig wonders if things might turn out alright because he is a fan of isekai and fantasy novels. He also hopes to go on adventures with Jess, who seems to fit the protagonist's stereotypes. But when she starts reading his mind, the pig discovers that Jess is sort of clueless and lacks common sense. She too easily agrees to anything he says, so he starts to set ground rules with her to separate when he is just monologuing in his mind, and when he is trying to communicate with her. After he thanks her for taking care of him, he confesses that he doesn't have a way to repay her kindness and that he will unfortunately expose her to his fantasies due to her mind reading ability, such as his dream of having a cute little sister. Eventually they decide to go on a walk outside and the pig starts playing around in the farm. After returning to the pigsty, Jess shows him how magic is used to take care of the pigs through special magical batteries called Risti, which are usually created by mages and used by the common folk. Different colors of the Risti correspond to different kinds of magic, and they are an important part of daily life. The black Risti is particularly powerful for healing through prayer, but seems to only work for Yesma. After they return outside, Jess continues to treat him like a pig. But after getting exposed to his dirty thoughts she doesn't understand why he'd be attracted to her. He also finds out that Jess doesn't have a lot of friends and she briefly alludes to the fact that she is somehow in trouble, although when Pig asks what she is in trouble from she changes the subject. Jess tells him that over a hundred years ago in times of great magic, there were tales of magic that turned people into animals. If he could petition the King of Land, he could possibly locate a mage that would turn him back human. Jess offers to help take him to the king, who is known to be a kind ruler, and Pig agrees to head to the royal capital with her. The next day they head to the capital, and the pig wonders why Jess doesn't seem to change outfits. She teases him that one day she might wear something different, but not right now. They head to the town of Kiltiri where the pig is worried that he might attract a lot of attention. Luckily for them, the town is currently in a festival and full of both humans and festivals. As they talk, Pig also realizes that Jess has not traveled before and it will be the first time she has been to the capital. They also pass by a risty shop under heavy guard due to the powerful nature of magic. When they get into a more dangerous part of the town, Jess tells him that she will not speak aloud and attract too much attention since Yesma like her can also accidentally reveal their inner thoughts. Jess is confident that they will not run into trouble because she is wearing a crest of the House of Kiltiran. When Jess attempts to buy some black wristy for their travels, the pig senses that the magic seller is attempting to cheat her, and through her ability to read minds creates a situation for her to get away from the seller. Jess tells him that she had trouble reading the seller's mind, and the pig thinks that he was attempting to hide his thoughts so she wouldn't suspect him. After the incident, Mr. Pig realizes that Jess is quite young and naive and that she lacks a lot of common sense. He also realizes that since his vision is better and he can walk on all fours, Jess must have used an expensive black wristy to heal him while he was passed out. After confronting her about her kindness, Mr. Pig is surprised when Jess starts crying and he starts to feel bad because he has no way to repay her. After comforting her, Mr. Pig tells Jess that he will definitely pay her back somehow. They return to the town to go buy Risty at the shop instead, and Mr. Pig teaches Jess the concept of haggling. When they meet the shopkeeper, he refuses to sell Jess a black Risty for a price she can afford and becomes quite mean to her. And Mr. Pig realizes that as a Yesma, the people in the town seem to have some resentment towards her kind, even though Jess doesn't seem to realize it. He also discovers that Yesmas are often lower class and struggling in society. Mr. Pig and Jess come up with a plan, where Mr. Pig suggests that Jess sell him to the shopkeeper to earn enough gold to buy the Risty. They can also take advantage of her mind reading ability to trick the shopkeeper into thinking he is a pig that can do tricks on command. 
After Jess gives him the ability to dance, Mr. Pig draws from his memories of the Dance Dance Revolution to dance for the shopkeeper, who finds the situation hilarious. Now suitably entertained, the shopkeeper agrees to buy Pig in exchange for the Black Risty because he is going to be putting on a special show that night. This could spoil their plan, so Jess volunteers to help with the festival and tells the shopkeeper that she is going to be replaced with another Yes Masoon at the house of Kultirin. With the transaction complete, Jess leaves Mr. Pig in the shopkeeper hands but he quickly gets tied up and is unable to escape. That night, Jess returns back to town dressed in a new outfit and gives him some food and they agree to meet at the big tree outside of town after Mr. Pig makes his escape. The town festival soon starts with a huge marketplace set up. Different shops put on different shows for the town's populace and Jess is helping to serve food for the festival. When he watches the shopkeeper, Mr. Pig witnesses the casual discrimination he seems to have towards Yesma like Jess which makes him unhappy. Finally it is time for Mr. Pig to perform and he gets put on stage alongside a band. The shopkeeper commands Mr. Pig to dance, but Mr. Pig's former life was that of a shy nerd so he starts to get stage fright in front of so many people. But remembering that Jess is counting on him and is silently giving him encouragement from the audience, Mr. Pig channels his dancing skills to perform dances in front of the audience who quickly start cheering him on. Mr. Pig then jumps off the stage in excitement, but this leads to him twisting his ankle. A worried Jess arrives, but the shopkeeper dismisses her back to the Kiltiran house, and Mr. Pig tells her to leave so that she won't become a suspect once he escapes. But Mr. Pig also becomes really worried that his twisted ankle has gotten worse, and will prevent him from escaping. Things get worse when different people in town go to him asking for dances, which makes his wounds even worse. Luckily, all the requests for dances eventually means that they let him out of the collar. Mr. Pig then tries to get the audience to dance and drink more so that they eventually pass out, and he can make his escape. Finally, he gets away from the townspeople and starts to head out of the town, but ends up overhearing a conversation in an alleyway between a suspicious man and the cheat seller. He discovers that the suspicious man is a Yesma hunter and was in league with the cheat seller to get rid of Jess. The hunter threatens the cheat and tells him to head to the mansion to attack Jess and bring her to him. A worried Mr. Pig follows the cheat out of town, but isn't sure how he'll be able to protect Jess or get to her in time with his injury. After running to the mansion, Mr. Pig tries to think very loudly and wake Jess up but he doesn't get any response. He becomes worried that with the cheat stalking around the mansion he won't be able to save Jess when she heads to the tree in the morning, and he starts to cry. But when he heads to the meeting place, he luckily finds the girl sleeping there since she happened to head towards the tree early. Now that they are reunited, Mr. Pig warns Jess that the cheat seller is on his way to attack her because she seems to know some sort of important secret. Jess becomes worried that if she dies, she won't be able to help him get to the capital. Mr. Pig wonders if she can somehow appeal to the house of Kiltirin for help, but she tells him that they won't care about a servant like her and that she can't return to the mansion anymore, although she won't tell him why. Mr. Pig eventually thinks of a plan to try to trap the cheat in the mansion, which will force the house of Kiltirin to deal with him. Using his superior eyesight in the dark, Mr. Pig is able to trick the seller into heading into a warehouse on the farm. Then after ambushing him and biting him from behind, Jess is able to lock the warehouse door to trap the attacker. Unfortunately, Mr. Pig ends up getting stabbed in the back by a knife during the process. With too much blood loss, there isn't much they can do and the two of them despair as their journey to the royal capital becomes cut short. Mr. Pig thinks of his brief time with Jess and how he has grown fond of her during his time as a pig, before he passes out. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.